In this video, we'll learn to represent discrete data in nine graphs. So I've kept the axis that I used for the bar chart. So that's exactly the same way that we do it for nine graphs. So we've got level one, level two and GCSE. So they're all courses. So what we've done here is labeling the horizontal axis and We've labelled the vertical axis as well. So we've got number of learners, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So going up in 100 each time because the highest value that we have is 604 for the 2018 learners. So I will represent that. So we'll assume that we have only the 2018 data to begin with. So I'll hide the 2019 data. Um, so just like with the bar charts, I go, that's um, 250. So I'll go, where is 250? Level one, that's the middle of level one. 250 is right here, just in between 200 and 300. And we've got level to 432 so 432 is around here so i'm just putting a dot not a whole bar and 604 so that's going to be just over 600 so that is the data that we have so i've just plotted those pieces of data and what it's tempting to do is just connect these dots and make a line to make a line graph however that's not right I cannot create a line graph with what I've got here because a line graph shows that change from one point to the other and that's not here that's not being shown here. We haven't got time. We haven't got the change in time. So we have a we have level one, level two in GCSE. Yes, we can see that we have more learners on the GCSE courses. Yes, we can see that we have more level two learners than level one or less in level one and level two than GCSE. However, this is not showing any continuity or any change across time or over time so that is not any data that we can represent using line graphs you could represent it as a bar chart but not as a line graph so for that reason I will take this off and I'll show you what I can actually show using a line graph and I gave you a clue when I said we're looking at things over time. So I'm going to show the 2019 data as well. So if we pick a specific level, let's say level one. So we represent um, the number of GC or number of learners enrolled on level one courses at Mars maths in 2018 and 2019 that is something that I could do so I'll take off the levels and I'll go okay 2018 and 2019 so that's that's years so in 2018, level one was 250. So we got to 250. In 2019, that was 310. So we got to 310. Now that shows a change between 2018 and 2019. So over time, we can see that shift, things going up or down. So I could connect these two dots and make or create that line graph 
Now, if I had data for 2010 as well, so I would go 430 for level one. So let's go to 2020, sorry, 2020. 2020, so we go to 430, so that is around here. Again, that's another increase, and we can show that change over the years. In more complicated line graphs, you could have different levels. So I've done in black level one, for example. So I'll do that as a black line. Or you could even have a cube there, a square like I did, or a cube. And let's do level two in blue. So level two over the years, we go 432 in 2018. So 432, 376, 376. So there is a drop. And then we go to 400 in 2020. So that goes to 400. So again, connect the dots and you can see what's happened over time. And if we do GCSE in red, then we can go 604. 2018, 645 in 2019, and maybe goes to 700 in 2020. So, again, by connecting the dots, we can see that increase year on year, that change year on year. So, typically, a clue for you is in a line graph, if you've got time here on the x-axis or the horizontal axis that means that it is possible to represent the data using a line graph